as some idiots in my neighborhood fires off some fireworks. Why, hi there. I'm Ron Juckett, and Box Score Communications presents Boston Red Sox Baseball 2004. Tonight, April 10th, 2004, the Red Sox take on the Toronto Blue Jays. Pedro Martinez goes for the Red Sox. The Blue Jays won the opener and the opening day at Fenway yesterday, 6-5. to five. And for whatever reason, they decided to play a night game on a Saturday in April in Boston. <sighs> Tonight, Pedro Martinez, who pitched six innings against the Baltimore Orioles a week ago Sunday, gets his home debut of the year against the Blue Jays. So let's set the Blue Jays for you. Reed Johnson will lead off and play right field. Frank Colorado is a left fielder. He'll bat second. Vernon Wells is your center fielder. He bats third. Carlos Delgado as your first baseman. He cleans up. Josh Phelps, who was yesterday's hero for Toronto, a home run and a double, is the DH and bats fifth. Eric Hinsky, the third baseman, bats sixth. Orlando Hudson, the second baseman, bats seventh. Kevin, or Woodward, not Kevin, but Woodward bats eighth and plays short. And Kevin Cash, there we go, catches and bats ninth. The defense behind Pedro. As we said, Johnny Damon somehow either got hurt playing the real life opener or whatever, but Cesar Crespo is your center fielder. All right, Manny Ramirez is in left. Crespo, who has a below average arm and below average range, is your center fielder, but if he can get there, he can catch it. Didn't have an error. Gabe Kapler is in right field tonight. The infield, Bill Miller, Pokey Reese, Mark Bellhorn, Kevin Millar, Jason Veritek behind the plate. Pedro, Six innings, eight hits in his first start of the year. He walked two and struck out four. Good for 105. And man, the Red Sox need him to go seven. Because Mike Timlin has pitched three nights in a row, all on losses, and didn't look good yesterday. So that's the situation. The Red Sox are a game and a half behind the Yankees, who are four and two, and a half game behind Baltimore, three and two. Toronto is two and two. I should say the Red Sox are in fourth. Toronto is in third. Tampa is 0-5. They haven't won a game yet. They are in dead last. Reed Johnson steps up 200 on the year. No homers and no RBI. Three for 15. And he starts this one with a fly ball to left center. It is going to grab the wall. And this game starts with the leadoff double. So Pedro's first pitch finds the 10. That'll bring up Colonado, who is at 167, no homers or RBI. Frank draws a walk. So Martinez is not off, is off like a herd of thundering turtles with a double and a walk. Vernon Wells at 333, no homers and two RBI. He gets a fly ball to left field. Manny's there, makes the grab. Johnson goes back to second to tag, but does not go anywhere. One out for Carlos Delgado at 214. No homers and an RBI. And it's a foul ball. Miller goes by the Blue Jay dugout. Out of play. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Pitch to Delgado is a fly ball to right. Back goes Kapler to the warning track. He hits the wall. Johnson scores. Catalanano rounds third. The throw home is in time for the out. A good relay from Billhorn. And Catalanano tried to knock it out with the collision. And Veritek held on. So it's an RBI double, but it could have been worse. So Delgado on second. Phelps the batter. Josh is three for 12. Two homers and three RBI. Pedro delivers. Fly ball to the left. Manny's there to retire the side. One run, two hits, no errors after a half inning. Toronto gets on the board first, one nothing. And it's Roy Halliday on the mound for the Blue Jays. Roy at 476. Five, homer, five innings, six hits, a homer, two walks, and two strikeouts. And this is this was not a great year for Roy. Eight and eight the record. He must have been hurt. 133 innings, 140 hits, 13 homers. He walked 39 and struck out 95. An ERA of 420. Very unlike Roy Halladay numbers. The lineup for the Red Sox, for whatever reason, Cesar Crespo is leading off. Oh boy. 
Bill Miller bats second. David Ortiz, the DH tonight, he'll bat third. Manny Ramirez in left, so bats fourth. Kevin Millar back at his natural position to first, bats fifth. Jason Veritek bats sixth. Gabe Kapler seventh. Mark Bellhorn eighth. And Pokey Reed, slow shortstop, will bat ninth. The defense around Holiday, Colorado in left, Wells with a V in center, Johnson, Reed Johnson in right. The infield is the same as yesterday. Hinsky, Wood at third, Woodward at short, Hudson at second, Delgado at first, and Kevin Cash behind the plate. Crespo hits a grounder to Woodward, throws to first, and barely gets him. Crespo was motoring, but it was in time. Bill Miller is off to a slow start. 136, a homer, two RBI. He hits a chopper to Delgado, who flips it to Halliday, covering two out. David Ortiz at 500, eight for 16. Two doubles, two homers, and six RBI. Ortiz swings and misses strike three. So Halliday gets the side in order. We played one, Toronto one, Boston nothing. Martinez struggled in the first uh, two hits in the run with a walk through 22 pitches. Eric Hinsky at 429, no homers or RBI at the batter. And he draws a walk. A seven pitch walk. Orlando Hudson at 500, a homer and four RBI. Hinsky a threat to steal. Throw to first, and they got him picked off. He was going. Millar flips it down to Reese to retire him, and there's one out. Hudson, it's a grounder to Miller, throws to first, two out. Chris Woodward, need to memorize that. 133, no homer, and two RBI. And he hits a line drive right to Millar to retire the side. No runs, no hits, one error. Pedro kind of gets luck after the pickoff. We play one and a half. Toronto one, Boston nothing. So here comes Manny at 316. No homers or RBI. It's a line drive. Base hit in the left, right center. Going to go to the wall. And Manny will get two out of there. So a leadoff double for Manny. I believe that's his first extra base hit. It's a cool, crisp night. Winds are blowing out to right center in 48 degrees. Kevin Millar at 176. A homer and two RBI. Pitch to Kevin as a grounder to Hudson. Throws to first. He's retired. Manny moves over to third. One out. Jason Veritek the batter. Jason at 533. Two homers and four RBI. Ramirez, the tying run, is on third. Veritek looks at a 1-2 pitch for strike three, two out. That's two for Roy. Gabe Kapler the batter. Gabe is 0 for 10. And it gets away from Cash. He's going to score on the pass ball, and we are tied at one. 1-2 one, count to Kapler. Gabe hits a pop-up to short. Woodward goes over to the cut of the grass in the shallow left and makes the grab. Not, so that retires a side, not before Boston gets a run on a hit. No errors. We played two. Detroit. Uh, to, to, to Detroit. Toronto won. Boston won. Pedro comes out for the third. Two innings, two hits, two walks. No strikeouts. 39 pitches. Kevin Cash, the batter. Kevin is 2 for 14. 143. No homers and two RBI. It's a lot of pitches for the first time through the lineup. First strikeout of the night as Cash watches an 0-2 pitch, hits the corner. So that's a good one. Reed Johnson doubled his first time up and scored the lone Toronto run. He hits a grounder to Miller, throws across to Millar, two out. Catalanano, the batter, Frank walked his first time up. The pitch, there's a line drive right to Millar to retire the side, no runs, no hits, no errors. Two and a half down, Toronto one, Boston one. After the first, Pedro has settled in. Red Sox will bring up Mark Bellhorn, Pokey Reese, and Cesar Crespo. Bellhorn 
at 294, two homers and two RBI. He hit one last night and hit one in the series against Baltimore. Bellhorn hits a ground ball on the left for a base hit. That's the second Red Sox hit of the night. Bellhorn is on first. Pokey reached the batter. Pokey at 133, no homers and an RBI. Infield playing the corners. We're going to bunt. It gets down. They throw to second in time. Hash grabbed it, and he flipped to Hudson, who over at second base. So Bellhorn is retired. And Reese on first on the failed sacrifice. Cesar Crespo, the batter, he is 0 for 1. Crespo chops one to Delgado, throws to Woodward for one. Back to Carlos in time for two. 3-6-3, number play, no runs, one hit, no errors. After three, Toronto and Boston are tied at one. Vernon Wells, the batter. Vernon is 0 for 1. Crespo, by the way, is, you can see him standing out there in center with uh, some sunflower seeds in his mouth. This was it. After he was let go from the Red Sox, that was the end of his major league career. Pitch to Wells. is in the air, strike three. Swing and a miss on a 1-2 pitch. So that's the second strikeout for Pedro. Crowd likes that. Here's Delgado. Carlos doubled his first time up and drove in the lone Toronto run. The pitch, there's a fly ball to right. Kapler is there, two out. Josh Phelps, who was retired his first time up. Takes the grounder from Pedro throw, uh, to Pokey, throw to first in time. So another perfect inning, great play by Pokey to stab that ball, says tonelessly. And so the Blue Jays go down in order again. We played three and a half. It's Toronto and Boston knotted up at one. Miller, Ortiz, and Ramirez. The batters, Miller is 0 for 1. And he draws a walk to start the four. David Ortiz, the batter. David is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. The pitch. There's a line drive into the hole. Base hit. Catalanato cuts it off. Miller holds the second. Poppy's on first, and that'll bring up Manny, who doubled and scored. Their only Red Sox run so far tonight. Halliday delivers, it's a pop-up. Catalanano comes out, Hinsky comes in, other way around, I should say, and Hinsky makes the grab on the grass. One out for Kevin Millar, who's 0 for 1. Millar watches strike three on the outside corner. So that's a strikeout. That's Halliday's third. It'll bring up Veritek and Jason struck out. His first time up. Two out, two on. One one to score here in the bottom of the fourth. The pitch. Veritek rounds one to first. Delgado flips to Halliday in time. No runs, no one hit, no errors. We played four. Toronto and Boston are tied at one. So Pedro Martinez comes out for the fifth. 61 pitches into his effort. Four innings, two hits, a run. It was earned. Two walks and two strikeouts. Hinsky drew one of those walks. Will lead off for the Blue Jays. Ground ball, base hit in the right field. Bellhorn couldn't reach it. And Hinsky's on with a single, the third Toronto hit. Back throw to first, Hinsky safe. Orlando Hudson, the batter, he's 0 for 1. Hudson swings and misses on a 1-2 pitch for strike 3, 1 out. 87 mile an hour changeup, here's Woodward, Chris is 0 for 1. And here's a fly ball to center, Crespo comes in and makes the grab, 2 out. Kevin Cash, who struck out. It's a ground ball to Bellhorn. Throws to Ballar to retire the side. No runs, one hit, no errors. After four and a half, halfway home, Toronto and Boston are tied at one. And a reminder on this cold night to have a friend come over or your neighbor and say, Howdy, neighbor. Have a Gansett. Narragansett Brewery. And the Boston Red Sox legends together. All right, across the board, both teams, one run on three hits and no errors, and they've both three to two. 
Halliday, after four innings, has allowed three hits that run. It was earned. He's walked one and struck out three and is at 60 pitches. Martinez is at 75 through five. He has really, really settled in. Kapler at the plate. Game is 0 for 11 on the year. Grounder to short. Woodward throws in time. Mark Bellhorn the batter. Mark single his first time up. Pokey Reese on deck. Bellhorn grounds one to Hudson. Throws the Delgado two out. Pokey Reese the batter who was retired on a failed sacrifice bunt his first time up. Two for 16 on the year. And now three for 17 as he hits a fly ball base hit in the left center. Now I'll bring up the man, the myth, the legend, Cesar Crespo, who is 0 for 2. Crespo hits a ground ball to Hinsky, throws to second for the fours. So that's the inning, no runs, one hit, no error. We've played five in the, on the back bay. Toronto and Boston are tied at one. I don't like seeing the tire status for Pedro with 30 pitches left to go. Uh, he is thrown five. Reed Johnson will lead off. He has doubled and scored tonight. One for two. The pitch. There's a ground ball to Bellhorn. Martinez over to cover and he makes the play. Millar and Bellhorn went for it. Bellhorn got it and so Pedro had to cover for at first. Frank Calinano the batter. Frank is 0 for 1 with a walk. And he hits a comebacker to Pedro, throw the first in time, two out. Vernon Wells is over two of the strikeout. The pitch. He got him. Swings and misses strike three. So that's a side, no runs, no hits, no errors. Pedro will come out to pitch the seventh. After five and a half, Blue Jays and the Red Sox are still tied at one. So Bill Miller, David Ortiz, and Manny Ramirez will bat here in the sixth. Miller is 0 for 1 with a walk. And there's a fly ball to right. Reed Johnson moves over to right center for the first half. David Ortiz has singled and struck out one for two so far. Halliday cruising along here, here in the sixth. And Ortiz will ground that one foul, and the count is two and two. Five and a third so far for Halliday. Four hits, a walk, and three strikeouts. Ortiz draws the walk. So that's the second walk for Frank. Now will bring up Manny. Manny is one for two, a double, and a walk. Manny looks at strike three, walk on a one-two pitch. So Halliday gets a big out there. That's his fourth. Kevin Millar, the batter. Kevin is over two for the strikeout. And it is a ground ball, base hit in the center field. Ortiz goes over the back at second. Ortiz hustles over to third. Runners in the corners for Veritek, who was 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Ortiz is the go ahead run here in the sixth. 1 1 tie. Three hits for the Blue Jays, now five for Boston. And he strikes out. He swung on and missed. Halliday gets out of it unscathed. No runs, a hit, no errors. We played six in Boston. Toronto and Boston are tied at one. So this will probably be Pedro's last inning. He will face Delgado, Phelps, and Hinsky. And Orlando Hudson, if anyone should reach. Carlos tonight is one for two with a double in RBI. Pedro delivers, strike three. He swung on a 2-2 two -two pitch for strike three. So Josh Phelps the batter. Josh is 0 for 2 tonight. There's a pop-up to left. Manny's there, makes the grab too quick out. Eric Kinski the batter. Eric is singled and scored. Oh no, I'm sorry. Read the right column. He is singled the walk, one for one. And he walks Inski. So Pedro disgusted as he watches a full count walk. Orlando Hudson will bat. Orlando is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And he gets Hudson to end his night. He looked at the curveball for strike three. No runs, no hits, no errors. Stretch time in Fenway. Let's do the Wally Wave. Toronto and Boston are still tied at one. 
I'd find that music, but I'm sure I get dinged here on the tube for it. Gabe Kapler is 0 for 2. In 0 for 12 on the year. Halliday probably in for his last inning. Six innings, five hits, two walks, and five strikeouts. Kapler, it's a comebacker to Halliday. Throw to Logano in time, one out. Mark Bellhorn, one for two with the single tonight. He draws a walk. And so that will be it for Doc Holliday. Six and a third, five hits, three walks, five strikeouts, a run on the board it was earned and is responsible for Bellhorn. Terry Adams to come in. Pokey Reese the batter. Infield playing back with one out. Pokey lays one down. Here comes Delgado. Does he grab it? Yes, he does. It's a catch. So he punts it foul for the out and throws to try to get Bellhorn as Johnson came running in from right field to cover. Oh, boy. Two out. Cesar Crespo the batter. Crespo is 0 for 3. And he hits a ground ball to Hudson, who will go to first for the out and retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We've played seven of a pitching change here in Boston. We're tied at one. Before we change for Pedro, nice night. Seven innings, three hits, no decision, one run. It was earned. He walked three and struck out six. Kind of scuffled at times, but he gave the Red Sox seven big innings. go with Lieutenant Frank Castillo who threw one inning for the Sox and just happens to be activated for this very game. It is cold man it's 41 degrees tonight at Fenway. There's no wind now. Chris Woodward will lead us off. Chris is 0 for 2. And he takes the strikeout. 2-2 two -two pitch on the inside corner for the first half. So Castillo has already passed his strikeout total for the year. Kevin Cash is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And he draws the walk on a 3-0 pitch. And that'll bring up Reed Johnson. Reed is 0, was 1 for 3 with the double and the lone Toronto run. That was way back in the first. The pitch, and there's a line drive to Kapler. That's going to be extra bases. Johnson's on with a double. It just bounced right by Kapler. He couldn't get there. And so second and third, one out for Frank Catalanato. Catalanato. I said that five times fast. With Wells and Delgado due up, or in the hole, you are not walking Catalanato to pitch to Wells with the bases loaded. So, infield comes in here. Swing, and there's a fly ball to right. That's going to get to the wall. Cash scores. Catalanato goes to third. And Johnson will score, and it's now 3-1 to one Toronto. Vernon Wells the batter. Vernon is 0 for 3. Two strikeouts. Castillo delivers. Fly ball to the left. Back goes Ramirez. It's going to grab the wall. Frank will score. Wells will stop at second, and the Blue Jays at three across. Well, wasn't that all that in a bag of chips? So with one out here in the eighth, we're going to have a pitching change as, as Castillo <laughs> did, did. Well, he did. The lefty, Alan Embry, will come in to pitch. Alan is 1-0 in the year with three innings, at no ERA. Three innings pitched to hit and struck out two. And he'll face the lefty, Delgado, who is 1-3 for three with a double and an RBI. And a strikeout. 
And there's a line drive, base hit into center. Wells will hold it third, Delgado's on first. And when it goes your way, or doesn't go your way, it really doesn't go your way. Josh Phelps the batter. Josh is 0 for 3. There's a line drive, left field. That will be extra bases. Wells will score. Delgado holds it third, and Phelps has a double. So it's 5-0 on Toronto. Eric Kinski the batter. Eric is one for one and walked twice. It's a line drive. He's now three for three. Delgado scores. Phelps goes to third. Hinsky stops at first, and it's now six to one Toronto. Orlando Hudson the batter. Orlando is 0 for three with two strikeouts. There's a pop up. The liner moves over by the grass and makes the grab for the second out. So you never know that Pedro Martinez threw seven innings of one run ball. Six to one Toronto. Chris Woodward is at the plate, 0 for 3 with a strikeout. And he strikes out to end the inning. But Toronto blows this one open. Five runs on six hits, no errors. We played seven and a half, and Boston, Toronto leads Boston six to one. So Bill Miller will lead us off, 0 for 2. He draws a walk. 3-2 pitch for a walk. Terry Adams is still out pitching. Adams would get the win. And Frank Castillo is in line for the loss. Poppy's at the plate. David is 1 for 2 with a single and a walk and a strikeout. And it gets away from Cash on the wild pitch. So Miller moves to second. Count is full for Ortiz. And he hits a line drive, base hit into right. Miller will hold it third. And that will be it for Adams. Kerry Leitenberg will come in to pitch. Kerry, the old Braves pitcher. Ooh, this is, this is enticing. Has not pitched for the Blue Jays yet in this replay. In the real season, he went one and six with three saves, a 638 ERA, 55 hits, 73 hits, 55 innings, 73 hits. He gave up six home runs, walked 25, and struck out 49. Manny Ramirez, the batter, Manny one for three, a double, a strikeout, and a run scored. The pitch, and there's a line drive, base hit to Colin Otto. No, it's a line out to left. He has it. Miller will score. So it's a sack fly. No throw from Frank, and it's now 6-2. One out. Kevin Millar, the batter. I thought that was going to skim in there for a hit. One for three is Kevin. A single and a strikeout. Millar hits a fly ball to the left. Calling out of the wall. That's an out. And that's two. Jason Veritek, the batter. The catcher. Captain Captain Veritek is 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. And he hits a line drive in the right center. Back goes Wells. It's going to get down to the triangle. Ortiz rounds third. He's going to score without a throw. So it's an RBI double for Veritek, and now it's 6 to 3. And here comes Kapler. Gabe is 0 for 3. The pitch, and Kepler draws a walk. Mark Bellhorn, the batter. Mark is one for two. He is single to walk, and he's down the tying run at the plate. Leitenberg, just as the statistics told us, is scuffling here in the eighth. The pitch, he draws a walk, and they are loaded for Pokey Reese, who is one for three with a single. Johnny Damon is showing it's available. Guess what? We're going to pinch hit Johnny Damon. So they are loaded for Damon. Veritek on third. Kampler at second. And 
Bellhorn on first. Two out, Lightenberg just not lighting anything up. Johnny's at 174 with a homer and an RBI. The pitch. There's a fly ball to right. Back goes Johnson to the wall. That hits the wall. Veritek scores. Bellhorn rounds third. The throw is in the second. And Damon clears the bases. Veritek, Kapler, and Bellhorn will score. Damon with a bases clearing double. And that's it for Leitenberg. V Valerio De Los Santos will now come in to pitch. And we are knotted up at six. Toronto scored five in the eighth. In their half of the eighth. And then Boston has responded with five themselves. Cesar Crespo the batter. Cesar is 0 for 4. The pitch. Here's a ground ball back to De La Santo. And that's the inning. Five runs on three hits and no errors. We played eight. I got to make a kind of a complicated move here. So sit tight and watch me do my magic. As we go to the ninth, it's Boston 6, Toronto 6. So as Keith Folk comes in the game, because he does need the work, I moved Crespo to short, and I put Damon in the center. So that's the defense. It's Ramirez, Damon, and Kapler in the outfield. Miller, Crespo, Bellhorn, and Millar now the infield. And even though he didn't play in real life, he wasn't deactivated, and I'm here to win. I'm not here to completely do every move that Terry Francona did. So Folk in a non-safe situation, has two saves on the year, two innings, a hit, and a strikeout, and no ERA. He'll face Cash, Johnson, and Kyle Donato here in the ninth. The pitch is a ground ball to Crespo, throws the first great play for the out. Reed Johnson, the batter, what a nice night for Reed. Two doubles, two for four, scored two of the five Toronto runs, and now it's below 40, it's 39 degrees. Those hardy folks who have stayed through that marathon eighth are clutching coffee and clam chowder and whatever may be in a flask or two. Folk delivers another ground ball to Crespo, throw to first, and that's it, two out. Frank calling out on the batter. Frank has tripled, driven in two. That was in the eighth. He's one for three. He has scored and walked. There's a ground ball to Bellhorn. Throws to Millar, and that retires the side. So Folk throws 10 pitches to retire the side. We go to the bottom of the ninth. It's freebie baseball time. We're knotted up at six. Did I give you the, I did not give you the numbers for De Los Santos. I apologize. He is th threw three walks so far this year. He has no ERA. In the real season, and there's no picture for Valerio, 6-1-7 the ERA. Hey, that's that gets you a phone call to Boston. In 11 innings, he gave up 11 hits. He has walked 10 and struck out 10. Miller, he's 0 for 2. Ortiz and Ramirez on deck. And Miller strikes out on an 0-2 fastball. 98 miles an hour. I'll bring up big poppy David Ortiz. David, 2 for 3, is scored, walked, and struck out, along with two singles. Poppy hits a fly ball down in the corner. Johnson goes over, makes the grab, and that will be it for De La Santos. As Sean Douglas with two S's comes in to face Manny Ramirez. Sean, as you can see, pitched for the Tigers at some point in his career. Did, has not pitched yet in 04. In real life, 628 the ERA, no walks or no wins. Two losses, no saves. 38 innings, 37 hits. Six homers, he walked 28 and struck out 36. Manny Ramirez, who doubled his last time up the batter, one for three with an RBI and a run scored and a strikeout. 
Manning hits a fly ball to right. Back goes Johnson, and it's caught on the track. The crowd liked it. I liked it, but it did not matter. No runs, no hits, no errors. We're going to, Folk will come out at least for a second inning. As we start the 10th, we are still tied at six. Vernon Wells at the plate. Vernon is one for four with a double. Two strikeouts, an RBI, and a run scored. Six runs on nine hits for the Blue Jays. No errors, and they've stranded five. The Red Sox, six runs on eight hits, no errors, and they have stranded seven. Wells hits a fly ball to right. Back goes Kapler, and he's going to turn and watch that one go. A solo shot from Wells to start the 10th, and Commodore put, I'm not, no way. They're saying that was down the right field line at 309 feet. Well, let's add 450 to that. That ball was hammered. In the bullpen it goes. So it's seven to six, Toronto. That'll bring up Carlos Delgado. Carlos is one for, is two for four with a double. An RBI and a run scored in a strikeout. And he hits a fly ball. Kapler goes back to the warning track and that ball is gone. So back-to-back -back homers for the Blue Jays. They measured that one at 384. I think they used a bit 20 on that first one. Josh Phelps the batter. Josh one for four with a double and an RBI. Here's a fly ball. The left, Manny's there, one out. Eric Inski the batter. Eric is single twice and walked twice. Two for two with an RBI. Folk delivers and there's a ground ball, there's a fly ball base hit. Manny's there and there's still one out. Orlando Hudson, the batter. Orlando is 0 for 4 with two strikeouts. The pitch in, Folk gets him on a K. Strike three called on an 0-2 pitch. So Hudson goes down three times today by strikeout. Now bring up Chris Woodward. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts. And there's a pop-up. Shallow left. Manny's there to retire the side, but not before the Blue Jays get two runs on two solo homers, three hits and no errors. We go to the bottom of the 10th. It's Toronto 8, Boston 6. So Millar, Viratek, and Kapler to face Douglas, who threw three pitches in the ninth. Kevin is one for four with a single and a strikeout. And he draws a walk. So the tying run is up with Jason Veritek. Jason one for four with a double on an RBI. Veritek puts one up the middle over the bag at second for a base hit. Millar holds at second. Veritek the tying run at first and Gabe Kapler, who is 0 for the season, is at the plate. He did walk and score in that Red Sox rally in the eighth. The pitch, here's a ground ball to Hudson, should be two. Flipped to Woodward for one, but they can't turn it. Just a little too slow for Hudson to deal with, and so Kapler moves to first. Millar is on third. Kapler is still the tying run. Bellhorn the winning run. Mark is one for two, has walked twice, singled and scored. Bellhorn strikes out, 2-2 two -two pitch, a cutter, swung on and missed. So once again, Johnny Damon, the last hope here, he has doubled, drove in three runs, one for one tonight. The pitch. Damon hits a fly ball to left center. Back goes Will. He turns and watches it go. It's a home run. The Red Sox win. 9-8. How about that? Johnny Damon took the pitch and put it into the screen in left center. And the Red Sox win it. We'll be back with the totals. Oh, and it's time for the Commodore Vic 20 post game show. Because someone in your life can use a computer that's easy to use and easy to program. Commodore the Vic 20. So 80s. So awesome. All right, here we go. The totals tonight, Toronto, one run in the first, five in the eighth, two in the tenth. Eight runs, 12 hits, no errors. Boston, one in the second, five in the eighth, 
and three in the tenth on the three-run homer by Johnny Damon, who goes two for two with a double, a home run, and six RBI. Nine runs, ten hits, no errors. The starters pitched well, but they don't have anything in the decision. Roy Halladay for Toronto, six and a third, five hits, a run. It was not earned. It was on a wild uh, pass ball, I believe. He walked three and struck out five. Terry Adams, Kerry Leitenberg did not pitch well. They were responsible for the bonfire in the eighth inning. De La Santos got Toronto out of the jam and into extra innings. And Douglas is the one that's going to take the loss. One inning, two out. In the, he came in the ninth to pitch the tenth. Two runs, or two hits, three runs, all earned. The home run, the big one by Damon, a walk and a strikeout. The Red Sox go with Pedro Martinez. He threw a very good game. A seven innings, three hits, a run it was earned. He walked three and struck out six. He ended up pitching a good game. Frank Castillo was the, was the person that poured the gas on the Toronto Fire to start the eighth. Alan Embry didn't do much either. But Keith Falk, who really should have been tagged with a loss, goes two innings, three hits, two runs. They were both earned. The two solo, solo shots by Wells and Delgado in the top of the tenth to make it 8-6, to six, but he gets the win. And he probably could pitch tomorrow, the Sunday game, if he had to. Kurt Schilling will go in the, uh, in the rubber game. There was two out when the winning run scored. So homers by Delgado, Wells, and Damon. The Blue Jays strand 6, the Red Sox strand 7. Oh, come on, how can you give Pedro Martinez the game MVP? I'm going to overrule that. Donnie Damon's the game MVP because the Red Sox would have lost without him. He went two for two and drove in six. Time of the game, four hours and seven minutes, 49 degrees when it was started. The last time I looked, I think it was like 35, just a cold night. So on a sat hot, a freezing Saturday night in the back bay, the Red Sox play some red-hot baseball and walk off with a 9-8 win. I'm Ron Juckett. I'm on a voice. We'll talk to you the next time.